<laughs> Hello there. Hello. <laughs> Gorgeous day, isn't it? Yes, isn't it? On a day like this, I wish I had words to describe how I feel. Full many a glorious morning have I seen flatter the mountain tops with sovereign eye, kissing with golden face the meadows green, gilding pale streams with heavenly alchemy. Say, do you have a way with words? Gee, if I could say things like that, I, uh, I wouldn't be working as a, you know, just a gardener. Or is this my way of paying tribute to Shakespeare? Well, it's a very nice gesture, but it doesn't pay the bills. I'll bet you're just a jump or two ahead of the finance company, huh? Well, not quite. You see, I have a philosophy. Oh? Neither a borrower nor a lender be. For loan off loses both itself and friend, and borrowing dulls the edge of husbandry. But this above all, to thine own self be true. And it must follow, is the night the day. Thou canst not then be false to any man. You know, if I could juggle words like that, I'd at least be a professor or something. Ah, oh, what's in a name? A rose by any other name would smell as sweet. There you go again. I'm telling you, you know, just from working around here, I think a little Shakespeare rubbed off on you. <laughs> You're as good with words as he was. Look, I cannot take credit for words which are not my own. Let me introduce myself. My name is Peter Wingard, and I'm an actor in the Shakespeare Company in the park. You're an actor? Yes. Oh, for heaven's sake. Well, how was I to know with you dressed like that and you're snipping away at the hedges? Uh. <laughs> well, well, I'm Lucy Carmichael. How are you? How do you do? <laughs> you know, I just love Shakespeare. Do you? Yes, I do. And I've done a little Shakespearean acting myself. Have you really? Yes, well, nothing big, of course. It wasn't a big production. It was just a little high school play. Yes. We did a little thing called Much Ado About Nothing. Ah. You know, Shakespeare wrote that. Uh, yes. Yes, yes, he did. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. I'm a great fan of Shakespeare. Well, listen, if you're such a fan, would you like to come and watch a rehearsal? <gasps> or better still, why don't you join me on the stage? We're doing The Taming of the Shrew. Me? On the stage with you? Oh, no. Oh, I come could... on, why not? Oh, I couldn't do that. Why would... You're doing The Taming of the Shrew. Yes, and you'd make a... Perfect, Kate. Kate, was that her name? Yeah. Oh. And she wears the most marvelous costume. What color? Um, sort of red. Oh, red. Well, the red's not too good oh, for me, come but on. I. Well, I, I shouldn't. I really shouldn't. Nothing to worry about it. It's all action. Oh, for him. Oh, look how beautiful it is up here. Oh, look at that wisteria. Is it gorgeous? Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, miss, uh, I don't know the scene. What do I say? But you only say one word. What's that? Whenever you're asked a question, you simply say never. Never? Is that never. all? Okay, thank you. Everything all right, lady? All right. Good. Now, Lucy, in this scene, I play Petruchio, the suitor, I've come to woo the shrew. That's me. That's right. Now, she's a kind of mad, vile-tempered man-killer, and I have to tame her with false kindness. She despises me. But that doesn't worry Petruchio. No. Not a jot. No. You ready? Uh, yes. Good. Never. Never. Never, never. 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 Uh, Kate! Come here, Kate! Kate! <laughs> Sweet Kate. Ah, thou hast had neither meat nor drink since we took the long journey to thy father's house. Refresh thyself, I prithee. Ah! That beetle headed, flap eared villain, my servant Grumio, that did make the drink go stale. Oh, it is not fit for thy lips, my chuck. Meanwhile, patience. Grumio! Eat. What's this? Mutton? Tis burnt, and so is all the meat. What dogs are these? Where is the rascal cook? How durst you villain serve it thus to me that love it not? Yet take it to you all, trenchers, cuts and all, you heedless, jolt-heads and unmannered slaves. Now, sweet Kate, since thou hast supped and dined so well, in plain terms, your father has consented that you shall be my wife. Your dowry greed on, and will you, Nilio, 
I will marry you. Your turn. Oh, never! Never! Now I am a husband for your turn. For by this light, my bar, I see thy beauty. Thy beauty that doth make me like thee well. Thou shalt be married to no man but me, for I am he. I'm born to tame thee, Kate, and bring thee from a wild Kate to a Kate conformable as other household Kate. Never, never. It was told me that you were rough and coy and sullen, and now I find report a very liar, for thou art pleasant, gamesome, passing courteous, yet slow in speech, yet sweet as springtime flowers. Why does the world report that Kate doth limp? Oh, let me see thee walk! Thou dost not halt. Good work, Lucy. You're really getting it. I sure am. This is a rehearsal, isn't it? Oh, yes. Wilt thou be my wife? Never. Wilt thou take me for thy husband? Never. Oh, then I shall have to tame thee more! Never! Lucy, that's another fine mess you got yourself into. It looks as though I can't leave you alone for a minute. Well, I didn't know that was the way they tame shrews. You could get killed playing Shakespeare. Exactly. Look what happened to Hamlet. But hide thy dire forebodings hence, and face the morrow with succor anon. Do what? Cool it, love, and let's go and take a bowl of chalk. Take a bowl of chalk? A walk, a stroll. Oh, a stroll. <laughs> In London, everybody strolls. Don't exactly have my strolling clothes on. Do you think maybe this is the way Anne Boleyn started? <laughs> London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my belly. Is falling down, my fair lady. Half a pound of tuppany rice, half a pound of treacle. That's the way the money goes. Pop goes the weasel. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Half a pound Bridge of tuppany rice, half a down, pound of treacle. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Every night when I go out, the weasel's on the table. Take a stick and knock it up, pop goes the weasel. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down. My fair ladies, London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair ladies. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down. Here it is, 
Lucy, the world-famous London Palladium. Oh, wonderful, Tony. That's on my list. Let's go in. Oh, we can't go in there now, Lucy. It's too early for a show. Oh. But I do know a place. London's own Scala Theatre. And I just happen to know the doorman. Hi, Pop. Can we go through? Sure, go ahead, Tony. Yeah. He's a pop? Sure. Tradition is sliding away all over London. <laughs> Follow me. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Ah, the theatre. There's nothing like it. Can you imagine the unforgettable nights that have occurred here, Lucy? Yeah. Command performances before Her Royal Majesty the Queen. Oh, is that the royal box? Sure, sure. Hey, Luce, I've got an idea. What? Why don't you go out there, sit anywhere you like, and we'll have our own show. You're going to do a show just for me? Sure, why not? And I can sit anywhere I like? Anywhere you like. Is this all part of your tour? <laughs> oh, Tony, you're wonderful. Okay, whee! <laughs> and now, the house lights dim. A flurry on the drum, and suddenly, dazzling fingers of light split the curtain of dark. Now, color the scene with music, and wrap it all up in the warmth of applause. <laughs> and Royal Luxury Tours are proud to present a phantasmagoria of theatrical divertissement, resplendent with a multiplicity of histrionic versatilities. Or an evening with me.